All right. I hope that worked. Uh, let me check quickly. Yep, it worked. We are recording. Okay, we got some green flag next time by. Pro on the right truck side. action from Bark River. This is the new track that was added for week 13. Uh, the new track that was added just in the latest build. Uh, we are in the Pro 2 light because <clears throat> pretty much too lazy to run the Pro 4 or the Pro 2. Uh, so we're going to run the Pro 2 light just to get a grip for the track. Um, I didn't see this until I came in. Matt Malone, of course, big iRacing streamer. If you watch me, you probably watch him at some point because he's just, you know, like I said, big iRacing streamer. Um, he's in the race. He's that red truck up there, so this is very threatening. <laughs> I really want him to crash out so I can brag that I beat Matt Malone. Uh, we're going to get a win, which is kind of good, because <laughs> we're going to win for our class. <laughs> but, you know, just sort of getting used to this. Um, I don't really have much experience on this. This is my first, like, off-road race, so I'm more or less sort of just getting used to it and seeing what the racing is like. I think we're going. So I'm almost wrecking already. No, we're not. There it is that fast that I'm just that slow. The start line, this is a very long run. The start line, pretty much. I've got this whole back road to myself, so I am... I am perfectly fine as long as I can keep it out of trouble. I got company. Except this, the spit from these trucks. Oh! We've already got one around! We are even racing a green flag. We are racing pro trucks here at Bark River. 12 lap. It's about a minute and a half long lap. We're gonna have one truck coming up behind us pretty fast. Because he's, you know, just a faster class. This guy's almost off the track already. Keep an eye on him. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on the truck behind us. So I can just let him go when he gets up to me and I don't die. I mean, if I can beat someone, I'd love to beat someone because beating someone in a superior truck is a brag, I guess. Jeez, this guy is dying. He's dead. Um, like I said though, at the start, not much experience in these trucks, I haven't really run these ever before. I ran a few practice laps yesterday and today, testing out the new track and stuff. And ran stuff at Crandon, ran stuff at Wild West, but not here. Wanted to run a race at Wild West yesterday, I couldn't find a field big enough to run it, pretty much. That would be, like, interesting, I wanted to record for it, but, I mean, when there's, you know, three people in the race, all in different classes, it's not really gonna make for a fun video. Oh, we spun. As you can tell, I'm still trying to get used to this. I really did all my practicing in the Pro 4, so I really should be running the Pro 4, but... Screw it, we're gonna run this. Yeah, that didn't work as much as I wanted it to. <laughs> we're gonna get laughed. Which be fun. I can't wait for these regular, because I do actually really like these. I have been running these a ton. Er, I tested these on a friend's account a bit ago at the Wild West. I really like Wild West. But this is this is a very fun truck, very fun vehicle to drive in iRacing just because it, you know, nobody, it, it, you get a very small percentage of people that run it. Because, you know, you think of iRacing, you jump out of their focus. Uh, when you think of iRacing, you think of, you know, oval stuff, you think of road course stuff, you don't think of, you know, dirt road where you're running in a pro truck around, you know, tracks with giant jumps. And people really aren't interested by this, especially, you know, the... I don't know how to say this without sounding bad, but, you know, the European sort of area of iRacing really is not as interested in this as they would be in a rallycross. Because, you know, pro trucks really only a American thing. Because, you know, 
a pair can think of this stuff. Um. So yeah, it's a very small grouping of people that run these. Um, so you get sort of like a... It's not really a competition, it's more of a league in a community than anything. So it's kind of nice to be able to run these with some guys, of course, and friends. Um, owns the content, he doesn't really run it. Uh, someone else I know who runs these, uh, name, his name is Mike Budzine. He actually makes videos on it. He is a, one of the, like... I think he's actually one of the driving forces in this series. Like he tells Iris and all of you guys to get stuff if you have a truck. Like a truck. Um, he like works with Iris and getting new tracks and stuff. So he pretty much he also like makes setups and stuff. He works on uh, a Wisconsin short track car. Um, the reason I actually know him is because when we would go to Slinger Speedway, his car was pit across from ours, and my uncle got to know him. And once I started, you know, talking about eye racing and stuff, my uncle was like, "Oh, hey, you should go like, talk to Mike." So that's how I sort of got to know him. We talked a few times, so definitely. I'm gonna pick his brain a little more during this. I run in the Hills Corners. The dad, his dad's one of the admins, okay, actually. <laughs> Slow down the penalty because we touched the grass for two and a half seconds. One minute twenty seven point five six one. It, it, looking at the relative currently, this is about what I expected. That the two front guys are gonna be um, the two guys with the most like off road number and stuff. 777 and 508, when you look at these pro trucks in real life, that's pretty much like what their numbers types are, like you know, three digit numbers, stuff like that. So, I guess yeah. One thing I forgot to talk about during the figure eight video that I ran uh, last night, but like yesterday, um, is the frames. In top right corner, you can see the FPS, I'm getting like 200 FPS. So, oh no, I'm getting like 170. So I had always wondered, and I went into my graphical settings and I was like, I have to do what? I went to my graphical settings to do something. Uh, I think it was like to adjust and be like, oh, um, hands on the wheel for the driver. I got rid of the hands on the driver wheel, because I like this more. Um, but I noticed it limited my frame rates. My frame rate. I accidentally hit the limit button. So I unlimited it, so I say no limit, one minute, and point I can run from like a hundred, usually it's somewhere around 175 with traffic, uh, it's like right, frames per second, right. and it's like, holy crap, I can do that. Car stopped on the right. Oh, where's he going? We're racing 47 now. Um. But I noticed that I can get better frames, and I've noticed a major difference just from the smoothness. But so I'm definitely happy that I could have that. Huh? We've got the leaders seven and a half seconds back, coming fast. We're almost flipping past the trees. This tree is dead. It's actually. Might be a fight for the lead going on right now. Can't figure out how to take that jump. I don't know why, but I can't figure out how to take that jump. Oh, bees. Hey, we're gonna get another slowdown. Cars and him probably, you know, like eight, uh, eight, 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 
And this is actually, like I said, this is the fight that we need right here. This is first and second. Here's the rest of the crew. This track is extremely long, though. It's hard to believe that we're only in lap six. I'm proud of myself that I've only spun once. Like, only one time it's low. Oh! Matt Malone has crashed or he's pit! This is. If he's done, I'm gonna brag that I beat Matt Malone. He's dropping back big time. Hopefully that's it for him. Five to go here, thing. Oh, he's just up died. I think he's trying to upshift because the Pro Fours have six gears. He's only have three. I'm like an option. Oh, yes. This track is very long. Because I keep thinking this is like the start finish line, like this is gonna be the start finish line jump here, and then it's not. And I'm like, well, what the heck? And as I go this one, it's like, well, also, what the heck? Also, we just got a left part of the pitch. Definitely gonna be a lot faster. Hey, there he is. Gotta give him the corner. Give Clear. him the corner at this point. Oh, don't tell me I got beached. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, there goes Matt. No. In my quest. Oh, he definitely also probably said something about me on the screen. Um, they might best to be a good person and give the give a faster car a line. I screwed myself. No, the embarrassment. He's got like a thousand viewers right now on Twitch. Ah. That's the moment when you need to get your YouTube channel, like my, like I have on my modified, my street stock, and my, um, it's the other one that I've, whoa, you flippin', uh, my sprint car is, I need to get a pro truck scheme, my YouTube, so when famous people pass me, they see my YouTube, and they're like, oh, gotta go follow him. Seven car I was towed again. Honestly, I don't even know what lap we're on. That's a barrier. That's a stupidity. That is like the first potential X today. Okay, so this is gonna be two to go here. One minute, twenty-eight, forty-five, two, five. Oh! He's off again! Completely legitimate pass of Matt Malone! I don't want to hear anything else about it. To go. Completely passed him, completely fairly, you know? Oh, your age quit! I don't know if your age quit or not, I just... I beat him. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I 
can't believe I just beat Matt Malone. <laughs> I just beat Matt Malone and I'm gonna win the race! <laughs> As him laughs in Pro 2 Light. <laughs> oh. Laughs in Pro 2 Light because he's too scared to run the Pro 4. If I, was a, if I wasn't a man... Well, that, that did not came my... If I... If I wasn't a man, I would have stopped there and just let the leader pass me. No. This altar should definitely be the white flag. And of course, my phone starts to ring at the exact moment that I'm recording. Why do I... Why do I not have the phone silent? Well, you can hear a beautiful ringtone. Um, I think it's an AT&T phone. I'm unsure. Genuinely, I don't know what our phone is. I think it has the AT&T logo on it. Maybe that's the Spectrum logo. Actually, that, I think that might be the Spectrum logo. I got no clue. Genuinely. That's my parents' job, not mine. I'm sorry if I don't know the, our, our wire, our, our carrier. We have a landline. We are like... I don't want to say we're that old because a bunch of people have a landline still, but like we're, we never got rid of the landline. And I'm so happy with that because it's a cheap thing to have. Landlines are so simple. That's the Pro 4 leader. I need to get to the line before he passes me. Oh yeah, we got this. Unless I do a major uh-oh. Oh yeah, we got this. Oh, I flag in the air! <laughs> takes the checker to Brian Prudel gets the victory. Meanwhile, we're on our final lap. Great run, Richard. Any tips on how to drive these cars? Go for it, telling me how because I got no clue. The grass there, that was a good run. I don't think he won his class. But coming through to win his class, because he's the only car running in it. He won. Into the wall at the end. You won. You are the man. I am the man. And I just got myself beached on this barrier. Oh. Uh. <laughs> we do it? Oh, we ended up upside down! <laughs> I'm gonna blow my engine out. <laughs> Thanks for the sentiment, Brian. <laughs> It's a way to go out on top. This is getting a screenshot. We beat Mount Malone in a slower truck. Alright. That's definitely also being the thumbnail. Alright. About a 20 minute video, that's good. <clears throat> Let's look at the results. The beginning, I a safety rating or I rating? No, we didn't. Uh. Yeah, Brian's a B-class. We beat Matt Malone. 
That, folks, is an achievement on its own. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you want to see more content like this, more Week 13 content, more regular season content, uh, make sure to subscribe. It is completely free, and it's going to be nice. Um, if you have anything you want to say, call me out. Anything, leave a comment. I will try to get back to you as much as possible. Um... Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!